One county in Georgia is set to elect a new sheriff, and one of the candidates is a black man by the name of Tim Pounds. Now, the Douglas County Commission chairman, a man by the name of Tom Worthen, was asked what he thought about Pounds. There was a constituent uh, by the name of Mark Dodd who asked him the question of, hey, what do you think would happen if Pounds won? And here's what the commission, county commission chairman had to say about it. What are you going to do if, 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 if Pounds wins and that girl wins? What's going to happen? Be honest. We're going to have to pack, we're have to probably pack up and get out of here, you know? I mean, why, what do you think is going to happen? Be honest. This between me and Well, do you know of another government that's more black, that's successful? They, they bankrupt you. Dodd asks again about Sheriff Candidate Pounds. If Tim was to get it, what do you think of I'm afraid, uh, happening? I'm afraid he would put a bunch of blacks in right, here's what happened. And later the chairman doubles down on his comments about Pounds. I'd be afraid that he'd put his black brothers in positions that they're not qualified to be in. Right. So I'd feel more comfortable with Mike Barney on myself. Okay. Holy shit. So that happened. Wow. Um, hey, come on. Bunch of blacks. Okay. <laughs> I love when they say that. No, Bunch of blacks. What's amazing about that is... He, he wasn't like secretly recorded. You know what I mean? See, like, I know. Or he what was wasn't, it? Was it? Wasn't it? Was it? Was it secret? He was secretly recorded. It okay, seems my like bad. it was. He was secretly recorded, but it doesn't matter. Like, he was openly and transparently speaking to a constituent about what he thinks about a black candidate for sheriff, right? Like, most people try to hide their racism, but this guy is like running around, running his mouth to complete strangers about how disastrously, uh, or how disastrous he thinks uh, a black candidate would be. Well, in his defense, he's like, he looks like he's, I don't know, 90, so maybe he doesn't know there's technology that could record your voice. So he just was, you know, and he maybe he thought, you know, the good old days, you know what I'm saying, when you could talk about your racism. Yeah, and people accepted it. People, people accept, loved it. People accept it, and you just go and put on your little hood and go out and lynch somebody. That's Jeez. the good old days. Let's go. Let's go to the second video because this is the, the video blacks. where he has his. You know excuse, how the, Remember right? when the blacks bankrupt when they crashed uh, Wall Street? Remember oh, when the yeah, blacks yeah. did that? Oh yeah, yeah. Remember when the blacks did that? Yeah. And then they bankrupted Enron. Remember all the blacks? How they I did that? Remember when all the blacks uh, had that massive uh, oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico? Yeah, remember that blacks. Yeah, did the that. BP thing. Yeah. Remember yeah. when the blacks attacked Iraq? <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's that right. Was, oh, those oh, blacks. Those blacks. All right, let's take a look at uh, what his reaction slash excuse was for those comments. I spoke as a politician uh, trying to say what I needed to say to get a vote, and that's unfortunate, and, and I certainly apologize for doing that. How many more times have you talked as a politician to other people in Douglas County like this? Um, hopefully uh, I haven't said that before. I have many black friends, uh, Hispanic friends, and uh, no, this is something that I should not have said, I certainly apologize to anybody that I might have hurt their feelings. I have a lot of black friends, <laughs> and that, that can't make me racist. I have a lot of black friends. He said he thought as a politician he had to say that. So what, was the guy interviewing him was in a Ku Klux Klan outfit or something? No, no, like, but that's the amazing thing. Um, Mark Dodd, who was the constituent who asked him that question and secretly recorded him, uh, is a supporter of Pounds. So there was no reason to believe that, you know, he was some racist guy who was trying to get like a racist reaction from this guy. No, no, no. It, he just, he said what he said because that's what he believes, okay? And if he genuinely feels that he has to play the role of a racist in order to get votes, then you're not a leader. You are the antithesis of a leader. A leader leads, okay? Even if there are significant negative consequences that come along with that, okay? Jenk saying what he said about Hillary Clinton's health, which was correct, was a demonstration of a leader, right? Someone who says, hey, I don't think Hillary Clinton is terminally ill, let's all calm down. We lost members because of that, right? And that's okay because he did the right thing in sharing truth. In this case, if he really feels like he needs to be a racist in order to get elected, you're not a leader, you're a fucking idiot. You're a loser, right? A leader leads, he didn't do that here. Well, there was some um, which I think Mark Dodd is the constituent. He said he heard him speaking at a gas station before, so this time he went to record him. So he said, be honest, between me and you. Those phrases yep. mean, hey, let's go, we can let down the veil, I got your back, exactly. brother. So like, between me and you, you can say all this stuff. So those were the code words that uh, this 
uh, county chairman heard, and he's like, here's a chance to pick up the racist vote. Now, what, it doesn't matter whether you believe that he's actually racist or that he's playing the racist to become, uh, to, to hold on to a seat, it doesn't matter. Both of those things are deplorable. So your excuse being, I was just trying to get a vote. Uh, he looked like a, a good racist to me. <laughs> and I thought, I might as well get this vote. No, That's all it was. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I hope I haven't said this before. You say this all the time. I hope there's nothing out there of me saying it. I can't remember, maybe. Yeah. Well, well uh, just switch blacks to Jews, right? To say, you know, with those Jews, you know, they're going to they command those Jews, Jews. It just, um, it would... Uh, that, that's why, and then he would say, he goes, well, uh, I needed to say something to get a vote. Like, that's not okay. No, that, you know, I got Nazis that live in my neighborhood, so I got, you know, I don't like that, the Jews. You wouldn't make a get that. That's right. Like, what kind of person says things, dis like, disparaging yeah. things about an entire group of people yeah. just to get a vote? Like, you're... So what about the black constituents that you represent? You don't care about them, right? You just, you enable the racist so you can get a vote. Like even his excuse, which I don't even believe is is accurate, mm -hmm. is terrible if it were it's accurate. Still, it's almost worse. It's worse. It's yeah. almost worse that I would pretend to be a racist so that a racist would like me and vote for me. It's, so I'm fomenting racism in my community and yeah. letting people think I'm racist uh, I'm not trying to end it in my neighbor, in my community. I'm not trying to clear it up yep. or try to bring a positive message or bring people together. I'm actually, yeah, I'm stoking those fucking racist flames all through my neighborhood because I gotta get votes. Come on, it, what's thing, wrong with that? That's what he's saying. What's wrong with yeah. that? Yeah. Well, the great thing <laughs> is that we elected a black guy as president, mm -hmm. and so we've already conquered racism Thank and God. it's gone. And this guy has black friends, Thank so God. we're being critical for no reason. It's amazing right. how <laughs> in denial racists are. Even again, when they were. To, not to go back to Trump, but he is racist. When he had that whole thing with the Mexican judge, and then yeah. he was being interviewed, and I, I forget who the interviewer was, but I think it was Jake Tapper. Somebody goes, "So you don't want this guy who's of Mexican descent to be the judge because you think he's going to hold a grudge?" And he goes, "Yeah." And he goes, "So isn't that by definition like a racist? You thinking that this guy can't be objective because he's Mexican?" Yeah, but that's not racist. So he, in his mind, is not racist. And this guy, in his mind, is saying, no, it was for the vote. I'm yeah. not racist. It was for the vote. I said what I got to say, you know? You know, like... Uh, uh, yes. In their, in their mind, they're speaking a truth. They're speaking a truth. That's all, That's why they say no more PC bullshit. That means that's right. Blacks are, are criminals. Mexicans are lazy. Muslims want to chop your head off. That's what that, that's what that yeah. means. Yeah. No, that is... These right? people like constantly living in fear uh, regarding the others. Like, I, it's a sad existence. It really. The well, Muslim I mean, thing is true, but the other thing. Is <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Um, no, it, it's like if this guy had a chance to, uh, and that's the other thing is that it's it's sad because racism blinds you. Mm -hmm. The same way all these issues that's going on in the presidential race, we have issues that aren't dealing with the issues. Like if this guy had come out and said, you know, this guy's not qualified because A, B, C, and D. We really like laid it out. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, this guy, you know, he's actually thinking about, but, but he's going after the guy being black. Uh, Giuliani's going after Hillary's husband uh, cheating. Or, no, no she, Giuliani's going after Hillary for staying with her husband after he cheated. Exactly. So, yeah. no, but, but, we, but we don't then ever get to talk about these policies. The Whose issues? policies are going to oh, work? No one gives a shit about policies. Don't get me started on that. We never talk about the policies. And that's what drives me absolutely insane. It's always about the politics, right? And so, understand what politics really are. It's all about the scandal and the nonsense that has nothing to do with governing it has nothing to do with plans to actually help the country it's all about like you know character assassination and did this person say the right thing or the wrong thing i don't care about that let's talk about what their policies are and and in the news in the media among these politicians we never have discussions about that it's worthless it's not entertaining yeah. right yeah it's horrible yes uh that's what they <sighs> if the news actually informed people they'd get rid of it yeah, we, but you need, you need, That's you need, point. it's got to be, you know, you need some of that. It's, it adds sexiness. I, I always talk about how a lot of people go, you know, we want someone who is like, you know, has, has good ideas and, 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 is, uh, and, and is not going to get into all the dirt and all that stuff. And I go, well, Ralph Nader was the one guy who kind of had some ideas, but nobody, he wasn't sexy enough. He wasn't flashy enough for people to follow him. And now you got this bozo who's up there, you know, just with, with, just, and he doesn't have, like, it's all slogans. He just has slogans. Yeah. He, he says this, and then in the middle of the slogan, he'll throw out some crazy shit. Like, he just said in, in one of his recent speeches, Trump said that uh, 
he said, uh, he goes, I, I don't think uh, Hillary's probably not loyal to Bill either. Like, he just th he just said it. Who, by the way, who cares? Who cares? Like, I don't care. By the way, it, anyway, I don't want to get into the details hey, if of the their sex life, but. If the Secretary I, of State can't get a little sidey. You know what I mean? Come <laughs> on. Ah, she got her own plane and shit. It's out of the country. It doesn't count. <laughs> Besides, everyone has a pass with infidelity, right? Yeah. Just like Giuliani said. That's, Giuliani. What, he, that's, that's what, what he said. That's what he said, so it must be true.